So it's that time of year, holidays coming up, and you don't know what to get the filmmaker in your life. Or you're a filmmaker, and you don't know what to get yourself, because, well, nobody knows what to get a filmmaker. Usually, the gear that they need or want is thousands of dollars. So I've compiled a list of 10 or so items that are under $100 that you can get for a filmmaker or even a photographer that they'll actually use or maybe even like. All these things I'm mentioning I personally own and use. Nothing here is sponsored. Let's start with the more, like, kind of boring items but still useful and work our way up to the more cool items. First up is a 120 pack of lens wipes that are safe to use for camera lenses and monitors and whatnot. So this is great. I use it all the time, clean my lenses and filters and things like that. They're very easy to take with you, throw them in your bag or your pocket. Next up are these stretchy cable ties. These are great for keeping cables all together in a tidy manner and also so that you can attach them to poles or keep them out of the way basically. That way you don't have an ugly looking setup with all the cables exposed and showing. They don't just come in the color orange, so if you're looking for black, I will link that down below. I will link everything I'm mentioning down in the description. Use those if you'd like to buy these items. A tried and true classic is gaff tape. It's not very expensive and you can get it in different colors and stuff. The colored ones are great because it can help organize stuff uh, like batteries or bags or just different things that you're like, oh my gosh, I need to remember where and what that is. Colors are a great way to distinguish the differences. But black is tried and true as it helps things not to show up. You can use this to, you know, tack down some cables or I don't know, maybe you have problems on set and gaff tape fixes everything. Moving on to something a little more cool, we have quick releases from Condor Blue. These are really great. This is the old model, this is the new model. Whichever one you get, they're both great. They work pretty much the same way. New one has just like some locking pins and whatnot. But these are great for when you're constantly attaching and detaching things and you don't want to sit there and like unscrew them like this. You could just kind of put a quick release on it and just slide them off, snap them on and off. They're great for microphones, monitors, you name it, super useful. I have these attached to a bunch of things around the office and on shoots. So definitely recommend having at least two or three of these. Speaking of being around the office, there are two things that are really great for office content creators. One of them is the iFootage round base monopod. It's a short one. That's the one I have my camera set up on right now on my desk. This is really great for a desk setup. So I would highly recommend if you have somebody who's a content creator, getting them this. It's a lot better than a tripod system and it's a lot better than those stupid janky desk mounts. The next item for the office would be this. This is the Logitech MX Master 3S. It is a near silent editing mouse. And I say editing because it has a lot of buttons on it that you can program, which I do have a whole video on. So, you know, check that out if you need to. But you can edit 10 times faster with this mouse when you use the shortcuts. I use it all the time and I have been using it and it's older models for years. So highly recommend this. It's a little bit pricier. It's close, very close to $100, but it's well worth it for an editor. And it's ergonomic, so your hand and wrist will thank you for it. Now, speaking of editing, this would actually be really great for editors as well. It's a hub, uh, especially with people with laptops with USB-C ports where they're very limited. This allows you to get a bunch more ports on it, but also has an HDMI port, it has an SD card for regular and then mini SD cards, USB-C and regular USB. This is really great. I've tried a bunch of hubs. This is the one that I stick with because it feels the most reliable to me and also has a good image quality over that HDMI. So if you're doing external monitors, this is great. Next up, we have a Moment Mist or Cine Bloom filter. This is a really good filter for a uh, camera lens. So actually what I have on my camera right now, I'm using 5%. They come in different percentages. Definitely recommend at least 5%. 10% is probably the highest you want to go. Basically, this filter helps to give a little bit more of a filmic look to your images, but also can help to make skin look a lot better on camera. Next up, we have an EDC tool. This is a tool designed for filmmakers who have camera rigs and are often mounting or dismounting things from that rig. It has all of the screw bits so that they can assemble and disassemble stuff. So everything from a Phillips head to a flat head down to those hex sizes that are really tiny and kind of large. Not only that, it's magnetic. It has a belt clip and also has a little bubble leveler. So it's kind of a handy tool to have around. You can keep it in your pocket or throw it in your camera bag, take it on the plane with you and it's just gonna help you get work done. I have this laying around all the time and really enjoy using it. Speaking of enjoy, the very last one we have here is a label maker. This is a thermal printing label maker. So that means there's no ink involved and you just use your phone and the app that you need to use with this 
to custom make and print all of your labels. So that way you can attach it to items and keep things organized. I do it around the office, especially that way things are marked and I don't get cables mixed up or confused or have parts laying around that I'm like, what does this go to? I did review this. So if you want to know more about it, check out the video up here. Next, we have the iFootage tech pouch, which is something that I reviewed earlier this year. I absolutely love this. It holds a lot of stuff. It's also weather resistant, so you can take it out and about, but there's so many individual pouches in here that are designed for filters and SD cards, batteries, you name it. You can jam a lot of stuff in here. I've absolutely loved this and it's an affordable thing that you can either throw in your bag to keep things organized in your bag or you could just use it as your bag carrying it around for all the little accessories you need with you while you're out hand holding and shooting and doing stuff like that. So great for photographers, great for videographers who are often on the go or busy and have a lot of batteries and SD cards that they're going through. I would highly recommend this one of all the things I'm recommending just because I think it's a quality piece, but also very, very useful. So hopefully that helps you find a gift for somebody this year that's a filmmaker, maybe a photographer. Everything is linked down in the description for you to easily find. That's it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.